Cats in soups. Here are five tips you want to know as a beginner. And spoiler alert, the second one is a game changer. So let's get started. Tip number one, menu functions. As you progress in the game, there will be multiple facilities with different attributes. If you get lost trying to figure out where or what those are, click on this menu button on the right side and it will show you a list of all the functions you have. I'm not going to go through all of them, but here are the two main ones I always use. The BGM, which stands for background music, and the move icon, which allows you to move stations around. For BGM, the game allows you to pick and choose your background music. I get tired of listening to one track on loop, so I like to pick different tunes and have different music track playing instead of just one. Note, only the star tracks will be played on repeat, so if you get tired of one track, just remove it from the loop by unstarring it. New tracks can be purchased by using furniture coins, which is the gear icon at the top. The move button is also useful. Every once in a while, I want to move around my cat station as I progress in the game and unlock more stations. In general, if you don't know where to find a function or attribute, this menu will allow you to view all of them on one page. Tip number two, how to earn lots of coins fast. Here's a question. Do you level up your stations or save up your coins? Which one allows you to level up faster? Here's the deal. I'm not the biggest fan of the phrase, you have to spend money to make money. But this is literally the case when you play cats and soup. If your strategy is to save up all your coins and have enough to spend it on new facilities, then you're doing it wrong. Let me show you the correct way to do it. Step 1. Wait until the char of fairy pops up. This is the fastest way to earn coins. Click on the fairy and see how much money it could give you. Step 2. Remember that amount because we are about to increase that profit. For this video, I'll save this amount on top so we can reference it afterwards. Now exit out and upgrade all your facilities until you run out of coins. Bottom left icon shows you the recommended facility upgrade. So I click on that until this message pop up letting me know I have no more money. Now, at this point, you're very low on coins. So step three, click on the char of fairy again and check it out. You've increased the numbers of coins you've earned. All you have to do is watch one ad to replenish your original balance with a little bit more. This is a win-win situation since you're not only upgrading your station, which now gives you more coins when making soups and chooses, but you end up with more coins than before. Tip number three, complete daily task. Nothing can beat the number of coins you earn from Char of Fairy, but daily task completion comes in second and you get gems, energy, and some extra tickets at the end. Complete all your tasks for the day and you'll get to scratch off more rewards. Tip number four, collect free tickets. Everyone loves free stuff, so don't forget to collect your free coins and energy tickets. You get these tickets either by completing daily tasks or exchanging them when special events are in town. To get free coins and energy, click on the gem icon on the top right. Then click on the item tabs. If you have tickets, then you should click on them to redeem free coins and energy. Tip number five, activate cat skill effect. Each cat has a unique skill. You will need to match the cat skill to the correct station to maximize the cat's ability. To do this, click on the cat icon on the top left of the screen. There, you can view your cat's ability. Some have more than one. The skills that aren't highlighted means you haven't unlocked the facility yet. But let's look at the one that we recognize. For example, 
the blending juice effect. If you match the cat to the blending juice station, then the icon will be highlighted. But if it's not highlighted, then you will need to match it to the facility. Here's how you do it. First, click on the cat icon again. Then click on the cat you want to change facility. In my case, it's this cat with the blending juice ability. Click place facility. From there, you will have to switch the cat that's currently in the choosing station and switch them off. So my cat Poe is currently in the choosing station. I will switch both cat. By doing so, you can see now the choose icon is highlighted, which means the cat skill is activated to its maximum effect. I've done the same also to my carrot station and corn station. Something to note, if you have enough gems, you can go to the observatory and trade in one of your cat for a new skill and look. But it costs 500 gems, which I currently don't have. But this is an option if you want to match your cat's ability to the correct facility. And that concludes the 5 tips for beginners. If you find this video helpful, consider liking this video since it will really help out the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now!